हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रिपीट सैम्पलिंग रिक्वायर्ड एंड वॉट आर द पॉसिबल रीजन फॉर रिपीट सैम्पलिंग रिक्वायर्ड रिजल्ट इन कोविड नाइन्टीन आर टी पी सी आर एस ए इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज इट माइट बी पॉसिबल दैट यू हैव हेयर्ड दैट द रिजल्ट हैज केम नीदर इधर नॉट नेगेटिव नॉट पॉजिटिव बट रिपीट सैम्पलिंग रिक्वायर्ड सो सम लैब्स हैव टू रिपोर्ट the sample as repeat sampling required because there are possible reasons to report the result as repeat sampling requires so without wasting much time let's start the topic so uh, this in general if i'll explain you what is the general procedure of covid-19 rt pcr testing if i want to test myself then what i'll do i'll go to the collection facility i'll go some to some collection facility or i'll call to some technical staff or a lab who will come and collect my sample and send it to the respective labs so some technical staff will collect my sample put it into the vial that is a vtm viral transport media label it pack it and send it to the respective lab for rt pcr so this is in general process why i'm going to tell you because from here the reasons of repeat sampling required arises move on to the next slide now what are the reasons that lead to input as the final result as repeat sampling required the very first reason is the problem with labeling the vials the vtm vials this problem is of collection set collection facility the technician will collect your sample and they he or she will do a typo error see these are the vials can you differentiate the names on these vials i don't think so so how we report these samples in positive and negative and how can i identify whose sample is this so this is the problem typo error wrong name for example there are four patients with the same name and they'll put the same name to all four vials and send it to the lab then how lab will differentiate the name of the uh, the sample of specific patients incomplete information on the vials repeat names of patient even sometimes blank vials are sent to the labs for testing so these are some of the basic reason that is with the labeling issues next reason for repeat sampling is sample leakage the collection facility has collected the sample very well but they just forget to tightly close the cap because this is a liquid and while transporting when the samples will receive in our lab then we didn't find any sample in the tube so this will lead to the reason repeat sampling required because we cannot process the inadequate amount of sample in the vial we need a specific amount of sample in the vial to start rna extraction to do rt pcr next reason is internal control not amplified what is that this is not uh, this is not the reason uh, related to the collection facility for example your sample is collected but in rt pcr we didn't get any internal control amplification and if internal control is not amplified then the labs are not able to give your result as positive or negative what are the reasons ic is not amplified it might be possible that improper sampling of the patient was done by some unprofessional technical staff who have no idea how to collect the sample so if the sample is not collected properly it can be a reason that ic will not be amplified in rt pcr and the labs has to report the sample as repeat sample this is the last reason and is a very important reason for repeat sampling sample peak amplified but not significant means ic amplified but the sample peak means the covid peak the covid genes which we are using to identify whether the patient is positive or negative are amplified but not significant what are the reasons for this uh, for this borderline cts or it might be possible that the technician who is collecting your sample 
they have not collected very well they are just superficially collected the samples and the actual viral load which need to be there in the sample was not there and we'll get a for example the cut off ct for reporting a positive result is currently currently the guideline says less than 35 will be declared as positive sample so tell me if i'll get a sample with a ct 35.5 what will i do on the basis of the papers the sample will be declared as negative but it might be possible the sample collection is not was not proper and we will not get the proper viral number to amplify so it can be if the technician has collected a right sample then it can be an initial stage of infection or it can be at the end stage of infection so we cannot omit that patient as neg negative we cannot declare that patient as negative so in that case we will declare repeat sampling required this is the safer and the best side to declare result as repeat sampling required because nasopharyngeal or oropharyngeal swab collection can be done only by the doctors or some professionals or technical staff who exactly know how to collect the sample because the sample collection is not proper you will will net not get the peak or the right peak so we have to give by default the repeat sampling required so in any case in any of the four reason if you in future if you'll get the result from any covid lab as a repeat sampling required then without wasting much time just go to collection center again and give your fresh sample for covid rt pcr so i hope all the four reasons are clear so thank you for watching and i can say that it's almost 2021 don't let anyone waste your time so stay home stay safe thank you for watching